What is up everyone, this is MoGamer here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6. This is for the PlayStation 4 update 9.5 that has recently happened, and I'm going to show you essentially how to fix this. So if you're like millions of users who are probably trying to update their console and are getting this error, I'm going to kind of show you what you can do to essentially walk through this and fix this. So one of the things you want to kind of be cognizant of and do is if you are still able to kind of log into the console, make sure and you see this, obviously it's not going to say installed, it says stuck or ready to be installed, right click into it and delete the update if you can. Uh, a lot of times this will kind of like, uh, you want to kind of just do this to just get it out of the system and see if you can retry and update it if for whatever reason you cannot. It's perfectly fine. We're going to go into the actual method on how to fix this, but this is one of the ways which I have found kind of fruitful for some users. So I would recommend you guys to kind of like try that option out if possible. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold on to the, place, uh, the PlayStation button and you're going to completely turn off your console, uh, not rest mode or anything of the sort. You want it completely turned off uh, so it's completely shut off from here and there's no more white light flashing on the right hand side. The reason for this is we are essentially going to enter into safe mode for this console and in there we're going to do a bunch of little things on how we're going to essentially fix this console. Uh, so once it's completely turned off, I'm going to show you how to a enter rest, uh, safe mode and essentially how to access and utilize safe mode from there. So let's see, it's still kind of flashing on the right side, so we're going to just let it shut out. Okay, it is now off. So what you want to do is you want to hold on to the power button until you hear two beeps. So you hear one beep when it turns on and you hear another beep once it, um, obviously you're able to like hear it before to go into safe mode. My console doesn't make any noises, so I instinctively let go after like five to eight seconds as I did right now and voila, we are now into safe mode as you can clearly see. Um, to be able to use safe mode you want a USB cable, an authentic one, I have one in the, you can buy it if you don't have one in the description below from Amazon, but you need it plugged directly here because it's not going to work via Bluetooth. So you're going to press the PlayStation button and the analog stick doesn't work. You want to use the D-pad just to show you. All right, I'm going to black out because of the zoom in. <laughs> uh, it starts zooming differently. Now, once you're in here, we're going to do a couple of different things. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, oops, sorry, I almost, almost dropped my tripod. The first thing you want to do is essentially uh, option number three, which is update system software. So in here, we're going to click into number three within that, which is update using internet. The reason for this is, if you look, I even have it installed as you saw as I showed the console, you can do it again. So if for whatever reason it's failing for you, always do your update from here. Never try to do it from the console itself, especially if you continuously keep getting errors. Even I, I would say for folks who don't get errors, always just update from safe mode. It's safer, it's better, it's faster, it's cleaner, <laughs> so I would recommend you doing it from here instead. Uh, now, if for whatever reason you doing this doesn't work, you want to then try still option number three, but number one, update from USB storage device. Uh, I will leave a video in the description below for you guys to follow, but it's essentially downloading the update file directly from Sony's website and essentially then utilizing that uh, to basically do the update, right? So you, you're going to download it from Sony's website, you're going to put it in a USB drive and you're going to then perform the update. A lot of times that is much better and faster to do than from an update file using the internet because a lot of times it's the network issue or stability that causes this error to fail. Uh, so we want to kind of do that. Now if that doesn't work, what another thing that I found that is helpful and I would want you guys to try is try option number five, which is essentially rebuild database. So once you do rebuild database and you come back, this can take anywhere from like a couple of minutes to hours actually, depending on when's the last time you've done this. Um, once you actually do this, you can come back and try option number three again, both the via internet and USB and seeing obviously which one is uh, applicable and ends up working for you. Because once you kind of go down this route, it does end up working because Sometimes it could be these systematic structural issues causing this error to fail, or this update to fail, I should say, and causing this error to occur. So you may want to kind of go down that route instead to end up fixing this issue for you. So just an FYI, you might want to kind of try that out. Now, if for whatever reason, all of those options sadly fail, we're going to have to kind of go down this other route, which I hate recommending to folks because it does suck, is option number six and seven, which they're ultimately the same thing. They just work slightly differently. Um, the reason being for that is if you try option number six or seven, this is going to delete everything within your console. And you obviously do not want to do that because if you never saved your games or you never did a backup, if again, you can go into the console itself and still go to the cloud and save it. Well, you might not even be able to actually because you won't be able to go to PSN. <laughs> um, 
is that once you do this, your, your games are going to get deleted, your save files are going to get deleted, you're going to be signed out of PlayStation Network, so you're going to be basically screwed. And from that perspective, obviously, you don't want to do that, right? I, I don't, and I don't want any of the users watching the video to be able to do that. That's why I would highly recommend trying out options that I mentioned previous to this before even going down this route. But if you have to and you don't have a choice and you're sadly going to use your L lose your L <laughs> ring save file, uh, once you go into here, you'll see it'll say if you initialize the PlayStation 4, all users and all data will be deleted from the PlayStation 4. Are you sure you want to continue? Hence why I was saying that is the option is going to say. So this is going to delete it without utilizing any form of USB device or anything of the sort. It's just going to straight up delete uh, from your console, reinstall the system software with the latest firmware update, which is 3.5, uh, sorry, 9.5, and you should be good to go. Uh, this, again, most of the time does fix a lot of folks' issues and errors. It just sucks because of what I mentioned, right? It deletes everything. And then number seven, it's similar to the option three with the USB update. Uh, there's another separate file that you can download directly from Sony's website, which is the update itself via a USB. Once you download that, you can put it in directly into your uh, PlayStation 4 as over here where the, the regular USB stuff goes, just to show you. And you can put it just directly in there. Do it before you turn on the console. So just an FYI, before you go into safe mode, have it plugged in. Because a lot of time folks say, hey, it's not reading it. That's usually the reason why. You want to have it plugged in before you even turn on the console. Once you plug it in, you can press OK. It's going to start the process uh, and it's going to then essentially reinstall the system software with the latest firmware update and then you should be good to go. Like I mentioned, I would highly recommend you to not use the last two options. Uh, if possible, it's going to delete everything from your console. You obviously don't want to do that. It's, again, it's, it's a bad situation all across the board. You want to try to go with the other options first and go from there. If for, if in general, for future purposes, always have, if you have PlayStation Plus, ensure you have save downloads or the cloud saves up because I had to do that for PlayStation 4 and 5 and that saved me, right? Downloading games again is not a big deal. Save files is what matters, right? If you don't have it anywhere in the cloud or somewhere in the server, you, it just it's a bad situation all across the board. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please do smash that like button. It helps out. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And again, if you have any other errors that are popping up, do let me know in the comment section below. I am more than happy to help you guys out. I know there was other errors that have been occurring due to this update. And a lot of folks were like helpful that I had those videos up. So it kind of helped those out. But again, if you're having anything else that are happening because of this update, please let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to research it, dive into it, figure it out, and give you guys an update. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Other than that, Mogaming out. Peace.